Welcome guys to a brand new video on solo leveling a rise. So in today's video, I want to go over every single information we know about Beck because we actually do know a lot and it actually is going to be very useful that you guys know the information right now until the official uh you know patch note comes out where they will go over the kits for beck but if you guys are interested to know what he does and how he applies his special ability because he is a bleed type character based on leaks i will be going over all the information right now in today's video plus gameplay footage animations of his skills and understanding of what his kid sh kits should be like so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more content on solo leveling arise please subscribe to the channel for more updates regarding solo leveling arise and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you show support by liking the video so first of all we're going to take a look at the gameplay over here which actually tells us a lot like a really good amount it doesn't tell us the skills like what the skills actually does but it's actually very useful to see so beck yun ho so he's going to be a dark type attribute character he's a fighter um he doesn't do break damage from what i remember so uh yeah okay so I'll show you the real monster this is the animation it looks pretty cool so you're going to see the animations of what he can do so this is his basic attack i remember the names of the basic attack guys so this basic attack is called magic beast claw pay attention to this so magic beast claw looks like it's only going to be helping with single but i think you can attack multiple people with that attack so yeah there you go so it does have oh no that's a skill one actually sorry go back again so this is the basic attack only attacks one and then you have his core attack over here and then you have his skill one which does have some aoe potential able to hit multiple attacks there you go so that's actually good because skill one actually applies bleed and then his skill two again looks like it's like a buff or debuff i say debuff because he needs to bleed uh he causes damage to himself but i think it's a buff slash debuff at the same time so he applies some type of status elements or some type of um, ability to himself and then he starts to attack so pay attention again so the skill one is called violent assault and then we have um so there you see aoe potential as well skill two buff slash 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 there you go actually no this is sorry that was a buff and then he uses his basic attack actually so that's a buff that's a skill two and that's you basically just attacking and then we have his qte ability which does seem to be okay and then we have a support skill which does zero damage so a support skill is just going to be helping you guys in some sort of way maybe it's some type of buff um, but there is no damage from this which kind of begs the question what does he actually apply so yeah it just summons to the, to the it just gets summoned to the field but nothing else there is no like damage done so maybe that's not going to be good for supportive role when you have song jinru so there we go we have this ultimate skill as well and this wait that was multiple people targeted right look at this there we go yeah three people were hit so it does have aoe ability with the ultimate skill there we go yeah three people were hit and this is the animation so why is this gameplay footage important well based on the information in here this is from the leaks spoiler this is not his core attack as we saw from the um gameplay so we are going to actually understand his kit a lot more now so first of all he is a character that applies bleed and he is also a character that debuffs himself so that he can lose a bunch of hp because then he does additional damage so first of all we have to correct this magic beast claw is not his core so if we go over to the gameplay magic beast claw was i believe his skill one. Oh no it was his basic attack so that's his basic attack over here and there we go and uh, so magic beast claw's basic attack increases the damage of basic attack by a certain amount for each instance of the bleed effect applied to the target huh that's weird actually because most basic attack doesn't have any skill inside it besides does damage based on a certain percentage but this one says increases the damage of basic attack by a certain amount for each instance of the bleed effect applied to the target the maximum possible increase is this I think this might be wrong because it makes no sense that the basic attack will be like this based on what we saw in game people's basic attack is never like this so i'm guessing this might be his passive instead magic beast claws maybe the person got it wrong but it seems like more of a passive than a uh than it than an attack actually anyways 
this is going to be useful because it shows that if the opponent has bleed effect applied you can increase your basic attack i will show you guys one thing that is also important in terms of how to build him and the best artifacts for him based on this information we actually can know the best artifacts for him so take a look at deadly claw which is supposedly actually is it, does that say anything deadly claw so basic attack nothing to do with deadly claw that's slaughterer violent assault extreme attack beast form yeah there's nothing to sorry about that um okay so deadly claw increases the damage of core attack according to the number of bleed effects instance applied to the target yun also recovers a small amount of hp so deadly claw i don't know what deadly claw is but it says it's his exclusive weapon actually which makes sense because increases in damage of core attack according to the number of bleed effect applied uh recovers a small amount of hp why would that be on his weapon though that would be absolutely garbage if he can't recover hp when he's doing dealing damage to himself from his ultimate ability i'm actually a little bit like skeptical on this actually not gonna lie anyways magic beast claw has its basic attack enhancement effect doubled silver main back yun increases his skill damage by 50 percent of his reduced hp ratio he uses violent approach and slaughter to apply the bleed effect so violent approach we know of as is um what's it called violent control which violent assault sorry where is it violent approach or slaughter so i'm guessing it's trying to say violent assault so skill one over here is how he applied bleed as well as slaughter and slaughter is gonna be his core or is uh yes yeah, core attack now one thing to show you guys that this skill might actually change is the fact that they've actually changed the name of his skill one from violent assault well originally supposedly violent violent approach to now violent assault so they might have actually reworked their skills a lot more huh okay so um he applies bleed from his violent assault which is skill one and slaughter being his uh, core attack so he applies bleed from that the damage of the magic beast claw which is his more attack and slaughter which is his core attack is increased when attacking bleed targets okay i'm guessing this is his passive so yep you want to apply bleed you want to deal damage to them i think he actually might be a really really good character when he uses extreme attack beast form he applies the extreme attack beast form effects to himself and receives continuous damage equal to eight percent of his current uh, hp every three seconds so when you use extreme attack beast form is that his second so he uses yeah that's that's, that's what i thought so his second skill is like a buff slash debuff where he now starts taking continuous damage as you saw over here um affects itself receives continuous damage equal to eight percent of his current hp every three seconds his damage taken is increased by 15 percent which yeah sucks but he gains super armor which i'm just like okay so what oh was that the little animations we saw so super armor yeah okay so that's that's true because if you take a look at his um aura around him that's the sign of super armor so yeah that's super armor that means he can't be interrupted how long is the duration of that that's actually really good actually guys i think beck might be a really good character because one of the most annoying thing in game is when you're trying to use your skill and you get interrupted but now he has the ability to apply super armor onto himself and which increases his basic attack damage and attack speed by 30 percent that is really good that's really really good um did we notice any increase in attack speed so this is his normal attack as you can see and it uses his transformation oh let's see so his normal attack is like this there we go one two three one two three and then we use his skill two i don't really notice an increase in attack speed i can't lie actually no yeah that's an increase in attack speed definitely so yeah we saw that as well so for sure he is going to be getting that buff um increasing the basic attack as well that's really really good um so in general wait so what is his ultimate extreme attack beast form so what's the ultimate called magic beast instinct is his support and his ultimate skill is called divinity oh so yes again 
we just figured out that this isn't his um ultimate so we figured out what is his actual skill and what is each, is each of his skill will do now let's move over to the best best build for him based on the information that we know of so if i go over to here we go back into the game we can actually figure out the best build for him so i think this is going to be the best build that you guys want to make sure you have the artifacts for uh you want to make sure you have artifacts set for him so if i go over to the codex actually i'll go to my weapons instead uh and actually not weapons artifacts if we go over to artifacts where is he where is artifacts i'm being blind there we go artifacts over here if we now scroll down to this the best gear for him is going to be this I can see this because he wants to do his basic attack and he wants to use his core attacks because when well, you can apply continuous bleed on the opponent and when you apply bleed to the opponent you get yourself a buff because when he attacks characters with a bleed effect it makes him deal extra damage and that is very very good and bleed if i remember correctly scales off the opponent's hp so you already know why that's going to be good so i think this character has the ability to apply bleed yeah hp is based on current hp yeah yes it is so that's going to be insanely good now one thing i want to know is whether bleed has been nerfed against bosses in power of destruction because they stopped the weapon they stopped this weapon from actually working against the boss because they realized how broken this was because the bleed was dealing insane amount of damage so i'm not sure how good it really will be since his mechanic of bleed might not be too broken in power of destruction so we're gonna wait and see um damn i got a lot of really good people today so we have to wait and see but that gear is probably going to be the best for him is probably going to scale off hp rather than attack as well so the best stats for him is probably going to be hp i don't think it scales off his att attack actually maybe it's based off his attack because he does there's one skill that says the damage of basic attack is increased or it could be the uh yeah i'm not sure so if we go over to basic skill yeah so that's why i thought the basic skill for beck was a little bit weird because most units just have a standard explanation on the of the basic skill with no special effects on it but then again it could be his core attack then increases damage of nah 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 so that's all the information we know of right now um yeah i think he's going to be a decent character coming out we definitely need to test him out one thing guys do not summon when he comes out wait for content creators to summon for him get him test him out and then you will see whether or not he's a character to summon for the reason for that is because in may definitely i am 99 percent sure that char Hain is coming out i have a video going over the release date and release schedule for char Hain, explaining why she will be coming out in may so go ahead and check it out as well but it is very very important that you guys do not summon for the breeze transformed version of beck he's also a dark type character i don't know if i mentioned that and he doesn't do any break ability so uh yeah i have the red set on limb actually so i might have to change this out but then again i don't have that many good gear so uh yeah i'm gonna i don't think he really needs crit actually he does he does need crit rate since he's doing basic attack so yeah crit rate and crit damage is probably something he needs as well anyways it's video boy it's a game don't forget to like and subscribe and i'm out